All right, guys, we are going to now move on to our next speaker, Mandy Lyle. She is the founder and CEO of Potency Number 701. Growing up, her father spent 13 years of his life in prison for marijuana and other um, uh, marijuana. And, 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 and although this stigma has been carried with it, Mandy has took it as inspiration to show everyone the beauty in the potent of this plant. She opened her first skincare clinic at the ripe age of 20, quickly developing a knack for plant-based non-toxic products. And when she moved to LA, she found herself walking through clouds of smoke as her and her fiance ventured into the cannabis business. The two applied their combined knowledge of both skincare and cannabis industry to create Potency Number 710, a line of balanced beauty products fueled by non-toxic plant-powered ingredients with one of their favorites being full spectrum hemp CBD. As a girl formerly from Tennessee, it is my pleasure to welcome, welcome a fellow Southerner, Miss Landy, Mandy Lyle. Hi, Tracy. Thank you for that introduction. Um, part of my first few minutes was going to be introducing myself, if you didn't. Um, so I am, have a background in aesthetics. I worked alongside a well-known physician for several years. Um, so I'm coming from like the medical uh, side of the spa business. Um, my father, as you know, you just said, I was kind of born into cannabis. Um, I knew what a grow was before I went to kindergarten and uh, probably spent uh, more time in prisons than theme parks growing up as a child. Um, I was never mad at my dad for this. I just was mad at the, at, at the law, I guess, because I couldn't figure out why my dad kept going to jail over a plant. Um, so with that being said, I um, took a lot of that inspiration. And when I moved to LA, I decided I wanted to be in a bigger city. I met uh, my now fiance for many years and we are in the legal side of the cannabis business, which I was very leery of when he told me he was going to be uh, going into the cannabis business, I said, I'm going to the courthouse with you. I'm gonna make sure this is really legit. I did not have any um, desire to relive my childhood. Um, with those three things in mind, with my background in the medical aesthetics business, my passion for plant-based ingredients, um, with my 40 plus years of street credit from my dad, watching all of the uh, uh, different walks of life coming out of our home. Thank God my mom was balanced and, and had divorced him early on. So I kind of got the best of both worlds. I think that's how I ended up a little bit uh, balanced out. Um, but with that, and then Harry going into cannabis and we now have two cannabis uh, stores and we're vertically integrated here in Needles, California. Uh, is where our stores are based out of. Uh, we're actually based out of North Hollywood, but we have a place here and come here to work those stores as well. Um, in between all of that, I started seeing all the uh, benefits of CBD and how it was going to be a strong, it was a strong antioxidant, even stronger than vitamin C and E. And I was, something just clicked in my head that this is, this is what it is. This is what is bigger than what you dream. This is what you're going to do. You're going to create a product uh, and you're going to bring CBD uh, to beauty. So I've been, been said I'm disrupting the beauty industry with this ingredient, um, but I definitely think it's here to stay. I do not think it's a fad. Um, and what I'm seeing happening with my products personally are an array of skin issues being solved in a very short period of time. Um, now, as the attorney spoke on earlier, we are not allowed to make claims, but I wake up every morning to some amazing uh, before and after photos of um, people's skin that have, have transitioned in a three-day period. Um, so I do believe that it's definitely here to stay in beauty. Um, I got some, pulled up some facts. Uh, during COVID, the prestige beauty market went down by about 14%. But the, the, winning, the winners in this group was your hand sanitizers, uh, your non-utility skincare, and your um, self-care, which includes CBD. And I love the fact that when we were deemed essential, I was like, wow, how ironic that I spent so much time in, in my life before in the, visiting my dad in prison for selling marijuana. And now I'm selling marijuana and it's essential. So it was really um, mind blowing when that happened and it was listed right underneath the grocery stores. So we were all thankful for that. Um, they project that the CBD beauty industry, hemp uh, beauty industry market is going to be uh, at $959 million by 2024. 
Um, so I think continuing education is going to be key in the beauty market. And I believe people are going to be more reluctant to try a topical product than an ingestible. So I believe it's the, for the beauty industry, I'm doing as much as I can as far as educating and bringing out more blogs about CBD as an antioxidant and about all the powers that this plant really has. And um, I hope that, uh, that in the end, I just hope that this plant brings peace to this world uh, in a world that so much needs peace right now. I just hope it's the plant that's just gonna bring us all together and really change the way we look at medicine and ingredients and products. Mandy, thank you so much for that. Such an inspirational story. I'm so inspired by your fight to continue to bring so much positivity to this plant. Thanks for coming today. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy. You're amazing.